Hi everyone, this is Jay. Welcome to The Gap. And today, we're going to look at Dark Icon Plugs and Tunnels. Today, we're going to be looking at uh, Dark Icon Plugs. An in-depth look, or a closer look at their work. So, we actually had... Um, the unboxing video posted um, that's actually the first video that we have posted on the channel so if you haven't watched it please watch it um, pero now we're gonna look into the details um, regarding this plugs and tunnels so eto galing din kay Ken or Hadouken to this is the art plugs or tunnels this is the art tunnels Ito yung ear saver na he gave us for free when we ordered the jersey. And these are ringed tunnels. So you can see. So, ano ba ang meron dito sa dark icon plugs and tunnels? We're gonna take a closer look. Um, but for this ear saver here, um, we have a lot of details in stored for you guys. So we're going to be creating a separate video when we review this. So look forward to that. Um, para malaman nyo din. San ba to gawa? Paano ba to ginagamit? And such and such. So let's go. Let's take a look at these ring tunnels and the arc. So ito na siya. Ito yung ating ring tunnels and the arc ayan so yung plugs na nakita nyo sa unboxing video I'm actually wearing them right now those are a size 33 and what I have here right now is a size 35 millimeter and this is a size 38 millimeter so basically pang upsize natin to Pagka ready to upsize na tayo. As of now, gamit-gamit ko yung 33mm. So, itong plugs, or, or itong tunnels, the materials that he used, according to Ken, or Hadouken, is what you call PLA, or polylactic acid. These are biodegradable materials that is normally being used for food handling. So it's so it's the fact that it's biodegradable. Um, it's very safe. And uh, from the time that I used uh, the plugs that came with the jersey, I haven't had any allergic reactions whatsoever. Um, so it's really safe. And as you can see, napakapolito ng paggawa niya. And may kita niyo yung marks. Actually, yung and yung bakas nung pagka 3D printed niya. You know. Tapos um eto pareho lang naman siya nung surface nung nung plug. Meron siyang ridges kung makikita niyo. Meron eh kung maririnig niyo pero pagka kinaskas niyo yung kuko niyo against dun sa ano surface nito, may tunog siya. So rough um hindi siya perfectly smooth kagaya ng metal or ng acrylic. So, meron siyang ridges kasi nga 3D printed. Pero, hindi siya nakakasugat. Hindi siya matalas or what. Maayos siya. Yan. Kahit itong isa. Tignan natin. Ito. Yan. See? May kita nyo siya. Ayan. May mga parang marks nung pagka 3D print. Ayan. Pero, super smooth niya. Hindi siya nakakasugat whatsoever. And, hindi ko alam kung maririnig nyo. Pero pag kinaskas nyo ganyan. Ayan. So, ang matalas lang naman dito sa part na to is depending sa design. Kagaya nito. As you can see, this is what he call like a top hat design. Ito yung pinaka flare. Ayan. Yan yung matalas pag pinasok mo sa tingyo mo. Pero with this one, since this is a flare, ayan. As you can see, ayan yung flare nya. Ayan. Yung flare niya, rounded yung edge. Hindi siya matalas. Ayan, as you can see. Rounded yung edge niya. So, 
if hindi pa ready mag-upsize, huwag pilitin. Baka masugat yung tenga. Um, hinihinay lang. So ngayon, um, titignan naman natin kung gaano ka-accurate yung sizing ni um, dark icon plugs. So, as I have mentioned, what we have here is a 33, or I'm sorry, 35 millimeter panels. So, we're gonna measure them using itong digital caliper. So, let's see kung gano'n ka-accurate yung kanyang measurement. Pag umorder ba tayo ng 35 or ng kahit anong size sa kanya, anong size ba makukuha natin. So, what we measure is of course, yung inner part, ito siya yung inner part kasi diyan nagre-rest yung lobes. So biyaan dapat yung 35 mm. Kasi yun yung in order natin sa kanya. Let's see. So it's actually resting at 34.7. Ayun. So kung sino nasa gitna siya and it shows 34.7 mm. So 3.0.3 lang. Oh, long. So, it's very accurate. Ayan. So, not really on point, but accurate siya. Hindi masyadong malaki yung kulang. 0.3. Atin kong pareho dito sa isa. Hmm. See? Pareho siya. On point naman. Pero, yun. 0.3 lang. 0.3 millimeters lang yung kulang. So, accurate yung measurements niya when it comes to sizing. Now, um, let's compare it with different plugs and tunnels. I have here um, a 28 millimeter screw fit tunnel and I have here a 30 millimeter acrylic plug. Ayan. So, for sizing comparison, tingnan natin, ito, machine made to. This is a machine made um, stainless screw fit tunnel which is supposed to be E28. Ito, tingnan yung machine made. On point. Diba? On point talaga. 28. Ayan. As you can see. 28 siya. Now, let's see yung ito. Acrylic plug. This is a 30mm one. This is handmade. Let's see. Hmm. 29.8. Resting din siya in the middle. Ayan. 29.8. So, ito closer. Pero, 0.1mm difference. Still. Diba? Although, this one, Gawa siya ng, ano, kumbaga parang yung specs niya, lalagay mo sa computer and then the computer will print it via the 3D printer. So, that's how it works. So, um, technically, machine made din siya, pero, of course, tao pa rin yung nagpapasok ng specs sa computer. So, with different designs, comes different ways of measurement. Kagaya nito, di ba? Ito, syempre, hindi naman siya perfectly round. So, may, may technique din yan ng pagme-measure. So, as you can see naman, very accurate naman siya. Ayan. See? Ayan. So, that's what we have right now on the sizing. So, ngayon, ang pagkukumparahin naman natin um, is yung weight. Yung bigat ng bawat isa. Kasi, of course, that plays a crucial part um, sa ating stretching journey. Diba? Kasi syempre, the, the heavier the earrings that you're using, the faster you stretch. So, hindi naman lahat ng may tunnels na ngayon gusto mag-stretch. Yung iba gusto mag-maintain or yung iba gusto mag-downsize. So, since medyo malaki yung talon, this is 28, this is 30, and this is 35, I'm just gonna get yung nakuha nating plugs. Ayan, 
Lalo yung pantenga, sariwang sariwa. Pero malinis naman yun, guys. Pain judgmental naman. <laughs> Ayan. So, ito siya. So, para for for sizing comparison. Or, I'm sorry, for for weight comparison. Ito, mas, mas malalapit tong tatlo na to. So, I'm sorry, I, I think I mentioned 33 to earlier kanina. But this is actually a 32 millimeter. So, 2 millimeters lang yung difference nila per size. So, this is a 28, this is a 30, and this is a um, 32. Ayan. So, tingnan natin. Ito, gram scale. Sa plugs ko lang ito ginagamit, tsaka sa bola ng motor. Wala na ako ibang pinagagamitan na ito. Ayan. So, ano natin ditimbangin is yung screw fit stainless tunnel which weighs at Exacto 10 grams. Now, let's check itong ating 30mm acrylic plug. 12.5 And then, yung ating 3D printed 32mm plug. 7.1 As you can see guys Super lightweight ng 3D printed Considering na This is a plug ah, Solid siya I mean hindi siya solid I mean wala siyang buta sa gitna Pero um, When I asked Ken or Hadouken About this one um, This is actually hollow inside So wala siyang laman These parts were printed separately The black one and the white one and then was inserted and glued for security. Ayan. Hindi siya kagaya nito. Ito, isang print lang to. Like, the, I, what I mean is the ring and the base were printed separately. But, pero itong base itself was just printed at one go. Ito, this was printed separately, inserted and glued. and So, as you can see, very lightweight. Super lightweight ng PLA material na ginagamit niya. Siyempre, consider the size. Pero, considering the size, this is 28, 30, and 32. Ito yung pinakamalaki among the three. And, siya din yung pinakamagaan. So, you don't need to worry na kung order kayo ng malaki, and, you know, kumbaga yun na yung target size nyo, and you don't wanna upsize anymore, this is very ideal. So, ayan. So, ayan. Ano bang benefits pag gumamit ka nitong um, 3D printed plugs from Dark Icon? So, as I have mentioned earlier nung nandun tayo sa um, weight comparison, this is super lightweight, di ba? Out of those three na pinagkumpara natin sa stainless, um, acrylic, and dito sa 3D printed, yung 3D printed yung pinakamalaki at 32mm, tapos siya pa yung pinakamagaan. So, that can be um, a pro or a con depending on how you will use the tunnel or depending on the goal that you have for your lobes. So, syempre, pag na-attain mo na yung target mo and ayaw mo na mag-upsize, this will be a pro for you kasi nga sobrang lightweight niya. It can help you maintain um, the lobes or your lobes on the size that you want it to be. Unlike kung gusto mo pa maglaki, It might not work for you kasi nga, lightweight siya. So, I suggest you use, um, yun nga, yung metal or maybe yung acrylic natin para baka pag-upsize ka pa. So, there are a lot of ways on how to upsize. Um, we're gonna create a video on that as well uh, in the future. Um, different ways of upsizing. Now, another pro is that this is super versatile. Since this is plastic, this is 3D printed. Marami na siyang designs. Napaka-innovative ni Ken sa totoo lang dun sa kanyang um, designs. Like this one. This is a very good example. As you can see, um, ringed tunnel siya. Kaya siya ringed. Kasi nga, as you can see, you have a base here. Which is in this case a red base. And a black ring. Ayan. So, etong ring na to is interchangeable or removable. Ayan. Like so. Diba? Kaya nakikita nyo itong puting ring kasi yun yung pamalik nyan. 
see you just need to press it down and there so you actually have like I am a lock balik tad ayan so ayan so now you see the difference diba so white na siya ngayon so it's like having having a different set of tunnels diba see meron ang red buwas na white ka if you have any other colors of these rings where which you can specify upon ordering um this is really good napaka-innovative, lalo na sa atin. Sa totoo lang, me, myself, I don't really settle for just one design. Of course, parang fashion jewelry din yan eh. You need to mix match dun sa mga suot mo. So that's another pro. Now, um, you don't really need to buy different sets. You just need to request um, like sets of these or different colors of these or maybe a different color of base. And then, ikaw na baala mag-mix match. So, he also has this design, what he calls a um, infinity plug. Uh, we'll show a picture um, somewhere in the screen. So, yung infinity plug naman niya, interchangeable. Yung, yung part na nasa may gitna, napapalitan ng design. Um, one of his famous designs is what you call the Hanya design. So, it has like a Hanya mask right here. Diba? And then, you can just um, pull that out, switch it with a different design. So, yan. Kaya siya tinawag na infinity kasi you have one base like this one and then you have an interchangeable design in the middle. So, yan. So, another level of personalization or customization na pwede niyang gawin para sa kung order ka is yung kapal, yung mid, like yung flare. Um, let's just go back. Let me get my caliper. Ito. So, we have this at 35, di ba? 35 millimeters. Ayan. Now, um, we will check on the flare. Kano ba kalaki yung flare na ginagawa niya? So, 36.6. Teka, wala sa gitna. Medyo mahirap kasi mag-measure ng flare. Ang nasa gitna. Ayan. 36.6, 36.7. So, give and take. Ayan. Almost 2 millimeters yung laki ng flare niya. So, ayan. So, if you want, you can actually request for the flare to be bigger. Um, you can include that on your request or on your order. So, if you want a bigger flare, you can do that. Um, just keep in mind na pag naglaki ka ng flare, syempre, this is not a screw fit one. Pag naglaki ka ng flare, mas mahihirapan yung ipasok sa tenga mo. Parang magtatalon ka din. So, kung 30 plus 2 to, so ter almost 37. So, parang nag-insert ka ng 37, tapos 35 pa lang yung size ng tenga mo. So, it might cause um, laceration or sugat sa lobes. Ayan. So, another thing is yung kapal niya. So, eto, yung, as in yung kapal niya na yan, pwede mo pang lapara ng ganyan. Depende kung anong size gusto mo. Normally, dun sa form niya, Kung yung mga nakapag-try na mag-order sa kanya. Um, the question there is kung um, gano'n kakapal based on coins that you stack on top of each other. So, yan. Makakapag-decide ka kung anong kapal gusto mo. But of course, each maker has their own standard sizes. So, pwede kang mag-sumunod mag na lang dun sa standard sizing ni Ken. Or pwede kang magpa-customize ng sarili mo. So, it's very customizable. Now, um, another thing that I wanna remind yung mga nagpa-plano umorder sa kanya, um, not all designs are available on the sizes that you want. For example, gusto mo ng hanya na design, pero yung lobes mo ay medyo maliit pa yung size, don't expect na kaya niyang i-accommodate yun kasi syempre, kung maliit pa yung lobes mo and then yung design na gusto mo, hindi naman kasha. Wala rin kwenta kasi hindi makikita yung design. So, Normally, yung mga intricate designs niya, yung mga medyo talagang magagandang design. Or not really magaganda. Lahat kasi ng design niya maganda. Yung mga designs niya, not really applicable sa lahat ng size. So, um, just inquire. Um, another pro is the seller itself. Um, accommodating siya, friendly. 
medyo matagal sumagot kasi medyo busy, marami talagang orders pero madali siyang kausap. Um you can ask him any questions regarding the product and such. Um if if you have inquiries, you can inquire definitely kahit hindi pa kayo order. So, ayan. So that wraps up our video for today. Uh, maraming maraming salamat sa Dark Icon Plugs and Tunnels. Um, specifically Ken or Hadouken for making this possible. And um, check the descriptions below if you wanna hook up or if you wanna purchase his merchandise. Um, other than Plugs and Tunnels, he has a lot in store for you so just visit his page. Um, maraming maraming salamat din sa lahat ng nanood. Um, please look forward for future contents. We have an upcoming video for the Ear Saver. Um, if possible, we will include an upsizing video for that. And uh, subscribe. We have a Facebook page. Follow us on Facebook. And again, maraming maraming salamat. Ang mga si Jay. This is Through the Gap. See you again next time. Thank you.